Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. So we're going to do another hoof hearted, hoof hearted, no, hoof hearted. <laughs> I found it very funny, uh, the name of this brewery. Uh, and that's what they intended to do when they named that brewery that. Hoof hearted, hoof hearted, not hoof hearted, hoof hearted. Very comical, very comical, and that's what they wanted. Uh, and uh, every time they produce a beer, uh, they put some kind of silly ass writing on the bottom or the back of the can that means absolutely nothing. Usually, it's just a bunch of old shit. Uh, they don't give you any information, like the malts or the hops or or anything that like that that's used usually. Uh, so this comes to me from my brother Rico, and uh, this is a nine and a half percent. Uh, Russian Imperial Stout guy. It's not a huge beer. Big beer, but not a huge beer. Uh, there are a lot bigger Russian Imperial Stouts than this. Uh, but uh, these guys do pretty tasty beers. Uh, a lot of people are trying to get their hands on them, and I did for a long time before uh, I was able to get uh, get my hands on some of them. And now uh, my brother Rico is uh, seems like he's trading or has somebody that he's uh, getting these beers from. Uh, to send to me. So, Rico, thanks again, and thanks to your buddy who's picking these up for you. And Rico writes on this one, nine and a half Russian Imperial Stout. A friend picked this up at the brewery a couple of weeks back, sold it to me for five dollars. I sold it four packs. Not sure how much it actually is at the brewery. Uh, I told him before, the batch number is the canned on date. The brewery told me this in their email, and he tells me that it was canned on November the 1st of 2017 and today is the 16th of January 2018 so uh, we're looking at a couple months on this one being a nine and a half percent uh, should keep for a little while depending on whether they use coffee or anything like that that will fade uh, I don't see it written anywhere but let's look at the commercial description that Untapped has massive roasted espresso coffee yeah that would be coffee espresso. Dried fig, licorice, and incredibly deep, rich malt flavor. Do you know what those things can do? Suck the paint off your house and give your family a permanent orange afro. Say what? Permanent orange afro? I hope that don't happen to me. Uh, like I said, these guys write a bunch of silly shit on their cans. and uh, The description on this one is probably pretty close to what's on the can. Yeah, it is. It's exactly what's written on the can is what's here on the untapped site. So, permanent orange afro, what do you think about that? Hmm, I'm not so sure that's going to happen. But anyway, uh, they do have 65 IBUs on untapped for this beer. Uh, I didn't see it on the can. I don't think it's written on the can, so the information is available somewhere. Maybe on their website. So, anyway... Uh, they do some nice colorful labels on their cans, uh, almost cartoonish if you will, but uh, we'll see what this one brings to the table here in just a minute. Uh, we've got the ABV, we've got the IBUs, we've got the can on date, so we've got all three bits of information. I would like to see them put it, the IBUs on her, but this particular style, being a Russian Imperial South, not critical, but I, I just like to know that. Uh, uh, just for Shits and giggles. Uh, I like to know those three bits of information on all beers, not just IPAs, double IPAs, stouts, whatever. Uh, but anyway, 
So we've gone through what he has sent as far as information. And we've gone through the sites. And so we've got everything covered. It is time. Let's do it. Let's get it on. Pop the top on this bad boy. Get it into the glass. And while I am pouring this, I will tell you, Food Paragus says General Chocolate Dessert Digestive. Glass Water Pint Back and Night Tumbler, tumbler Snifter. I've got my favorite tulip glass. It says here it can be settled for a long period of time under the proper conditions. Well, it doesn't seem to be overcarbonated anyway. It's barely covering the top of the, the beer here, guys. I'd say not even an eighth of an inch head on that. Over to the light, I'm not getting any. It's pretty dark. There may be a slight, yep, there's a slight hint of some red rubiness down here. So, uh, it didn't pour like used motor oil out. I could see some, it almost looked like cola uh, pouring out of the can. So, uh, not super, super dark. Not, not as black as I've seen quite a few of them. So, uh, uh Looks good. Let's get it to the nose. And, and guys, if they did not use coffee in this, I'd be damn surprised. I can't hardly believe they're getting this much coffee aroma. It is espresso right off the chain here, guys. Unbelievable. If they did not introduce any coffee into this, I would be... It's unbelievable. That's what I'm saying. They had to put some kind of coffee in this beer. I can't imagine they're getting that much coffee notes from the malt. And it is like espresso, I mean to tell you. That's straight up espresso coffee. It's taking up the whole front seat. If it was a school bus, it would probably be taking up half the seats in the school bus. Rich roasted malt and coffee. That's what I'm getting on the nose, guys. Big time coffee. Wow, smells delicious. I am a coffee fan. I do drink uh, coffee in the mornings. I don't have it after about 10 o'clock because I don't want to be up all night because I've got too much caffeine in my system. I like my sleep. Smells great, guys. I'm going to dive in. Stop talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. That is coffee untamed. Wow. That's like super rich espresso black coffee. And for 65 I've used, we're getting some bitterness from the coffee evidently. Because 65 I've used doesn't usually lend to that much bitterness in a stout. But I am getting strong bitterness. And I would say that's from the coffee. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be blunt. If this doesn't have coffee in it, I'll probably kiss your ass. There's no way they have this much coffee, that much bitterness, without introducing some kind of coffee to the beer. That's just me, guys. It's just my opinion. I, I don't think I've ever had a coffee beer or coffee tasting beer with this much espresso taste and bitterness without actually having coffee introduced into the beer while the brewery. Wow. It smells like freshly ground espresso beans. Wow. That's got to have some caffeine in it, guys. Wow. Wow. And I don't think the hops are, are, are producing that much bitterness. I think that's coming from cold brewed coffee. It's been introduced into this beer, but they don't tell us that. But I'd pretty much say it has. Well, anyway, let me sip on this. It's right out of the fridge. Let her taste it, and we'll find out where this one ends up in just a second. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. To me, a little undercarbonated, and I think they should have coffee written somewhere on the label with this much espresso coffee coming out of the the, uh, the glass, the can. Uh, this definitely 
an espresso coffee stout. Uh, I don't know why they wouldn't put that on there if you were expecting anything else. Uh, I'm not getting any chocolate. I'm not getting any dark fruit. Coffee is overpowering everything, guys. Roasted malt and coffee, that's what I'm getting on this. And the coffee is basically overpowering the roasted malt. Uh, this is probably one of the strongest espresso coffee stouts I've, that I've ever tasted. It is off the chain as far as espresso notes on this. Uh, I've had some matcha coffee uh, infused beers uh, that didn't have this much coffee presence in it. This is coffee to the 12th power. It is coffee, coffee on top of coffee, espresso on top of that. Uh, unbelievable coffee notes on this. I can't believe they wouldn't put that on the can. So, uh, I think it's a little mislabeled. <laughs> they ought to have coffee, Imperial Coffee Salad or something, Espresso Coffee Salad or something to let you know what to expect. I was blown away by how much coffee notes is in this beer and not having it written on the can somewhere. So, uh, a little mislabeling as far as that, or, or, or misleading, uh, if you will. But this is definitely a coffee stout, espresso coffee stout on top of that. So, uh, and it's overpowering everything. It's not a balanced beer. It's nothing but coffee. Uh, not getting a whole lot of anything else in the beer. It's just overpowering everything. If you love coffee, you probably would love this. I, I, I did enjoy it. But I think it's a little over the top in the coffee. It's just like we're powering everything. It's not balanced. But it was enjoyable. Like I said, I do drink coffee. If I wasn't a coffee drinker, I probably wouldn't like this. Uh, but I am. Uh, I don't drink a lot of espresso coffee. Uh, this is stronger than any coffee that I drink in the morning. So, uh, And I know it's got some caffeine to have that much espresso coffee taste. So uh, with that being said, guys, uh, I did enjoy it. So... Uh, but it is copy. It is copy out to Wazoo. Espresso copy out to Wazoo. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like I said, I don't think I've had, ever had even espresso, Sumatra copy beers that didn't have this much espresso copy taste and aroma. Wow. Unbelievable. Final joke. We're not going to leave any of it. Good beer. I'm not going to say it's a great beer. I don't think it's an outstanding beer. If it said espresso coffee stout, I would probably give it a better grade than what I'm going to give it. Uh, it's, it's just a, a hidden... Uh, coffee beer because they're not telling you that on the label anywhere that it is coffee off the chain espresso coffee off the chain uh, guys I'm going to give it a better grade than probably what uh, maybe I should but I do think it's a tasty beer and it doesn't have the IBUs on here but we do have it listed on untapped uh, it doesn't have it well it does uh, they've got the batch number which is actually like Rico said is the uh, the canned on date, 11-1 of 2017 is their batch number. Uh, and the ABV is on there, but it doesn't say anything about any coffee, which I think is very misleading. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give this a 90, guys. It's A- minus to me. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 3.97, which is kicking on the door on a 90. That's their top-of-the-line B-plus range. And over to Untapped, they have it at 3.94. Same deal. Kicking on the door to be an A minus beer. So uh, a little bit, I'm giving it a little bit better grade because I do like coffee. And if you like I said, if you don't like coffee, you're probably not gonna like this beer at all. Because that's all I am getting is coffee. Coffee, coffee, and more coffee. So be a good breakfast beer if you didn't have to go to work and drink this as your coffee in the morning. I mean, uh, and the alcohol is very well hidden. Uh, for 9.5%, I didn't get any of that. So, well made as far as that aspect. But they ought to tell you it's got that much coffee in it. It's, it's an espresso coffee stout, is what I would put. Coffee, it's a Russian Imperial 
espresso coffee stout. That's what it should say on the front of this can, and it does not. So that's why I'm not giving it any better grade than, than it is. Uh, if you've had this one from Hoof Hearted, this is their Baltan. Uh, let me know what you think, guys. Until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.